Hello again, I am Blunty, and in videography adventuring today, I'm looking at a couple of skater dolly options from Action Life Media, aka ALM. These are the same guys who do the MCAM product for people who want to push the capabilities of mobile phone videography further, which I've reviewed before. And as an accessory to that device, although of course you can use pretty much any camera you prefer, these are two rolling dolly carts. They call them the Mini Cart and the Action Cart. So let's start with the Mini. Just like most other similar skater dolly setups, things are pretty simple here. Four wheels on smooth bearings across two pivoting axles, so you can get sliding shots sideways or push-ins across a singular axis of movement, but you can also pivot these axles to give you a sweeping arc across two axes of movement, either convex or concave. And the reason you want something like this is to be able to achieve those lovely moving sweeps which can and will add another layer of visual interest, cinematic aesthetic and professional polish to your videos. You get more flexibility in your movement options than a rail based slider dolly will give you, but the trade off is you really do need a nice flat surface to truck across, as even moderately textured surfaces will transfer shake and wobble directly into your shot, which is not a good thing. Indoors on tabletops it works beautifully. The ALM cards both roll very smoothly indeed and they've both got a nice wide stable platform and the wheels are much wider than the inline skate style wheels you'll find on most other similar products. This has the advantage of giving you more surface contact which makes things very stable but I found that the large contact area and grooved wheels can also be a bit prone to picking up crap from the surface which can lead to a cyclical bump. So surface preparation when outdoors is key to getting the best from it. The best tip for using it out in the world is probably to bring a length of smooth wood or some stiff poster board to lay across your surface for the smoothest ride possible. But that said, if you're shooting outside on available surfaces as I was, choosing your surface carefully and making sure it's clear of grit and debris can deliver very good results, particularly if combined with some lens vibration reduction or in-camera stabilization. The mini card is fairly light and very easy to transport. The underside has some angle position markings which can make getting a nice regular arc faster to lock in or for easily repeatable results if you want to match the arc angle between shots or between locations. And the thing I really like about this product is not only is your main mounting point in a slot so you can get your image plane just where you need it to be, which is actually rarely the center point of the camera body, the standard quarter 20 thumb screw makes it quick and easy to mount the camera directly onto the plate or attach a ball head or a friction arm to get your camera where you need it to be. But as you can see, the platform is also full of various mount points for not only your camera of course, but additional accessories like a field monitor or microphones or lights or whatever. The Big Brother Action Cart is much more hefty with a very substantial 8 inch wide aircraft grade aluminum chassis which gives you fantastic stability and 3 slots for flexible positioning of your camera and sundry accessories. The wheels and bearings are the same ultra smooth rolling gear as on the Mini but here the axles are bound to the chassis with 2 screws each ensuring you're tracking dead straight when you need to. And when you want that arc you'll need an allen key that comes with it to re-bolt the axles onto this central pivotal point. Not exactly the most elegant solution available, but it gets the job done. It's not as quick and easy to set up as the Mini because that has little thumb knobs on the pivoting point, but it's where you want to be for using larger, heavier, pro-level gear setups to keep things rock-solid stable. They're both built really well. In fact, much like the MCAM, they're probably over-engineered to be wildly strong. Well beyond anything you're ever likely to throw at them, actually, which is pretty awesome, really. I've only had these units for a month or so, but I've abused them, and I've absolutely no doubt they're one of those products which will just last and last and last and last throughout years and years of the cameras you're actually attaching to them being replaced themselves. And the nice thing about this ridiculous sturdiness is that it doesn't come at a super premium wallet-kicking price. The Action Cart Big Boy is at $159.95 and the Mini Cart is listed at just $69.95, which is pretty good value for a product built this well. And aside from those big fat wheels being a little more prone to picking up crud than the skinny wheels on similar products, I can't actually think of anything else to complain about here. And even then, those big wheels give you extra stability, so even that isn't necessarily a drawback. So, it's yet another ALM product that is simple, affordable, finely machined from stupidly sturdy materials, and hands you easy, extra, reliable, creative power for your shooting. What's not to love, really? Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time.